Hello, everyone. Welcome to Kryptonized. Today, returning guest. I think third time, fourth time. I don't know. Probably uh, <laughs> Who's more times. More times. Uh, we're going to talk about AI and blockchain. And mm -hmm. uh, we're going to make this targeted to what you guys like to hear about, which is security tokens, tokenization of assets, so on and so forth. So uh, you've written a, uh, an article about this in NASDAQ, yet another article, isn't that right? Yes, yes, I've written another article. You can find it on NASDAQ.com and all my website. It's uh, called Manifesting Responsible AI Blockchain Meets AI. Okay, and just give us a quick synopsis of it before we jump in. Okay, the quick synopsis is basically that we all know that AI regulation is coming. Uh, the, we have the EU Act, or AI Act, uh, which is already in the works and probably is going to be enacted very soon, they hoping in 24. And Capitol Hill, we, we all heard about all the discussions that they, we had in, uh, you know, in September. Uh, so we know that legislators are warming up, I'm not warming up, it's more than warming up to regulating AI. And they all talk about safe AI and trust and trustworthy and secure and all of that. And the question is how? And all what I've heard about so far is like, let's create like an ethical board and do this kind of board and that board. I mean, okay, but this is not really going to cut it in my mind. Well, Maybe I mean, first of all, let's define what ethics are. Uh, you know, you're going to get 50 different opinions on what ethical AI is. Second of all, why don't we just ask the AI to come up with the AI uh, solution? That, that, that's what I would do. I would say, what would you do as an AI system to protect us from the AI or other people's use of the AI? And just see what happens. I mean, it might, might give us uh, some interesting outputs. Why blockchain, though? So you talked about AI and blockchain. Why blockchain? Why? Because I think, you know, okay, so let's go to what is, I mean, when we're talking about a, when we think about AI, what is AI? AI is basically data driven. It's models, you know, analytical models that are data driven. It's all about data. And data is very sensitive. Data has its own problems. It's, uh, you, it has its all kinds of, I mean, people are talking about bias and bias and bias, but the bias is basically inherited because of the information that we have created, because the data is created by humans, us. And the biases conscious, uh, consciously or unconsciously are a reflection of us, if you think about it. And there are all kinds of other technical bias as well, but, you know, but besides that, you know, and, and if we want, you know, these models to be unbiased and if we want them to be not manipulated and we want all kinds of other things that uh, and safe and secure and privacy and all of that, because, you know, data is a lot of sensitive data that we don't want it to fall in the wrong hands, even though we would like to do the analysis on that. That's what people are always talking about is how do we do all this protection and safety and security and you know trusting that you know the data is actually an authentic data so all of that you know this is how blockchain can help because blockchain is all about transparency i mean you can see exactly and track exactly you know where the data was entered and when and the authentic uh, authenticity of the data you know you can really track you know whether it's an actual data or manipulated data and you it can protect the privacy because you know it's we have the cryptographic aspect of of, of the data so everything that is insensitive we can make sure that it's secure and 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 not uh, uh, being exposed to to those who are not per permission you know to look at this data and uh, it is immutable in the sense that, you know, you can't delete anything. You know, if someone, someone you know, posts something and you don't want it to be deleted, which is, uh, has to do with the, de with the modern governance. If someone, you know, created something and wrote uh, the model, he, he, he or she cannot say, oh, it wasn't us. You know, we didn't do it. I mean, we didn't, think, you know, decide to put this data or that data or this, uh, this model or that model. So there's... And we need that trust because everyone is saying we want transparency. Why people are talking about transparency? Because we want to see, because I was, everyone is talking about, I mean, of course, you probably heard that the terminology that people are talking that 
AI models or uh, all these uh, neural network models are, are black boxes because you don't know, you know, what's there. I mean, that's kind of freaky, you know, because then what is a black box, you know, and I don't want to be like a black hole, you know, and, and I'm like, you know, drawing and, and, and disappearing into to, to the, to the abyss. Uh, so we want transparency and that's what it's all about. And that's exactly what blockchain can provide. Right. The security, the transparency, the, the immutability, the, the traceability, and all, and the audibility. I mean, you can also audit it. You can actually, you know, that's what people are always talking about. We need to audit that. So the regulars are talking about auditing, they're talking about trust, they're talking about transparency. I mean, but how? And this is how you do it with blockchain technology. And blockchain technology at this point is fast enough to handle this, you think? Well, I, I was asked this, this question, and, and, and we have to understand that, in fact, when we're talking about the audibility, when we're auditing something or transparency, you know, for this purpose, basically you don't need it to be like in real time or even near real time. It's not like, you know, the computation of the mining that people are talking about, or oh, we, we need to confirm this transaction. It's not like a real time type of thing. Uh, it doesn't have to be. And therefore, I think that as of now, blockchain technology can handle it. Of course, you know, blockchain technology itself is, 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 is evolving. I mean, we all hear about, you know, the evolution, I mean, the, the, the evolution and, and the advances that are happening with the blockchain technology itself, you know, becoming more scalable. I mean, if you, you can use Algorand, it's much more scalable. The Ethereum is, is thinking about, you know, that they're going to run uh, 100,000 transactions per, per second, I mean, I mean, that's, you know, the, the, the goal. So if that happens, you know, forget about, you don't have to even, don't even have to have this discussion about scalability. Uh, so, but we're going to get there. But as of now, you don't need it really because it's data governance. It's not that you have to um, confirm a transaction uh, that this is, you know, why people are talking about scalability or something like that. Okay. All right. Well, the way I see it is... Uh... You know, AI could also help with the transactions on the blockchain. It could do a quick analysis of everything that's already been on there and, and provide its own reporting uh, if anyone has any questions around it. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that AI and the blockchain is used to make things more efficient or uh, to make the blockchain technology faster as a result of grouping things or automatically approving things or you know, more, more along those things, that route. And security-wise, it should be the first thing uh, that these blockchains adopt is AI for security. So it can recognize whether, you know, there's a malicious actor trying to hack your wallet or, or something to that effect. With security tokens, that, that's less important because everything, everything should be whitelisted, uh, meaning you, you can get it back. They can reverse the transaction because it's tied to an asset. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping AI heads that direction. I, I don't know of anyone doing that. In, in your research, uh, are there any companies that are working on security in the blockchain using AI or even distributed ledgers, which is probably more important? Um, and if not, if you're listening to this and you want a good business idea, that's what I would do. I mean, if we can make it more secure, uh, I think that a lot of people would, would, uh, would adopt this technology um, more quickly. Yeah, but there is a but FICO. I mean, back to to my my um, explanation about how blockchain can help AI, can make it more responsible. This is already you know in action, so to speak. Uh, it's not in theory that uh, FICO got a patent uh, on what they call the uh, blockchain based. Uh, uh, governance, data governance, data and model governance, and they already, which was uh, approved in February, but they already have been applying it for years. So it is something that is happening, and it's 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 proven that uh, we can do that with and and FICO is definitely all about AI, and uh, we all know all the the models, analytical models, so, so they're doing that, and they're using a lot of sensitive data. So if it works for FICO, I, I, I believe that it can work for any other company. Uh, and so that's a good real world use case that it's happening already. Uh, so so I'm, I'm very happy to see that. And, and I think that that can be applied to other companies as well, other big organizations. 
All right, and so where do people go to read your article? On、uh, doctorblockchain.io. We'll also link to the、uh, the Nasdaq、uh, version of that. And、uh, how do people reach out to you? They can reach out to me through my blockchain at、uh, through my、uh, website. You have your own blockchain now? Are you making an announcement? Maybe I don't know. Not yet. <laughs> but、uh, but my my website.、Uh, they can、uh, doctorblockchain.io. They can、uh, reach out to me there. They can write, read all my articles. They can. Read about what I do,、uh, my my work, my consulting, my you know everything that I do. So, but I'm very much into innovate in a responsible innovation, and I think that the combination of of AI and Web three together they can assist each other in that responsible innovation because weaknesses that blockchain has, AI can help and vice versa, and this is how we can get. You can achieve this responsible innovation、um, holistically. All right. Well, thank you very much. We'll be on the lookout for your ne- next article. I know that'll be exciting, and、uh, appreciate you being on the show again. Thank you very much for having me. Hi, I'm Mark Fidelman with Smart Blocks. I'm giving you my tip of the week. This is the crypto tip of the week. It's called TetraGuard. You can see it right here. This is the world's first decentralized crypto ETF, which has Bitcoin, PaxG, Ethereum, and this fee token called Quadrant. You want to learn more about it? Go to tetraguard.io. This is a big buy for you right now.